Hello. So, uh, yeah. It's Friday, so I'm going to try to get a little regular with the Friday thing with uh, doing the Kickstarter roundup and my Picks of the Day roundup. If you're not familiar, I do uh, Sean's Pick of the Day, which I uh, uh, pick something on uh, one of the drive through sites, drive through RPG, drive through comics, drive through cards, drive through fiction, uh, or, or one of those, and uh, every day I, I put something out there. It's just something that's really cool that's caught my attention, and, and I just want you to know about. So... Uh, uh, on Friday, so I'm going to use this to talk about it. I'm also going to talk about the Kickstarters I'm in, too. So we'll go quite a few, so I'm just going to round them up. And down below in the show notes, all the links. I uh, just backed a cooperative fast play adventure dice game called Dungeon Attack. It's by some guys who are old friends of mine in Jacksonville, Florida, back when I used to live down there. I used to run a, a cool game store down there, uh, Jacob and Emmy. And now they've got this cool dice-based game company. It's a very fast, cooperative game. Fast is good. Cooperative is good. I'm really into the cooperative thing these days. So outstanding, guys. Uh, and it's called Dungeon Attack. So check it. Uh, also, back to Firefly, out to the black. Must love all things Firefly. I am such a found boy. I'm a brown coat. I get it. It's also a cooperative game, so it's going to get the love from me anyway. And it has a card for Jane's bunk in it. What else do you want? I'm pretty sure there's a cunning hand in there, too. There's got to be. Link. Okay. Uh, Tales of the Floating Vagab Vagabond. Tales of the Floating Vagabond Returns, and not even a stretch goal on that one. You get up to 120000 in the backing for that one, and you're going to get this bizarre crossover thing where uh, the crazy guys from the Floating Vagabond, which is all about high adventure and low comedy, uh, are sent into Shintar by some crazy scientist to get some Chrysarium. So what happens when you get a bunch of yahoos from a comedy-style setting, and maybe they've got some high-tech weaponry, and they show up in a setting that takes its epic high fantasy very seriously. It should be fun. Uh, Link! So, uh, and I love me some Diesel Punk, and there's not enough Diesel Punk in gaming. Lots of Steampunk. Steampunk's awesome. Love Steampunk, but not enough Diesel Punk. And that's why I'm all about the Frozen Skies Kickstarter. I gotta say, um, it's not the most compelling Kickstarter video ever. So uh, don't watch that and, and make your full judgment based on that. I, don't, I'm sorry, guy. It's, I'm a backer. I believe in the project. It's a little more dynamism that's really kind of required for those videos. But just it's Savage Mojo doing the art, and you guys know about the Savage Mojo family doing good art, so it's going to be awesome. Uh, let's see. Weird Wars, Weird Wars Rome, the Edulark thing, and Space 1899 are all still running very hot. And again, links below. All right, so those are all the Kickstarters I'm up involved in these days. Now let me talk about the picks of the week. Uh, today, uh, it was all about Deadlands Noir, the dime novel, uh, John Goff's Memories of Yesterday. Man is a absolute whiz, and everything that uh, that uh, Pinnacle touches as far as game fiction is concerned is just rocks. So definitely worth your your taking a look at. And I have a very personal vested interest. And people becoming interested in uh, Pinnacle's fiction. Just admitting my bias and leave it at that. All right, before that was Apio Apo <laughs> Sorry guys, Apotheosis Drive X, which is a fate-powered mecha game. Uh, Fate's everywhere. Fate's all over the place. I'm looking to actually play Fate. I don't want to run it because it's just so not my style as a GM, but I'm very interested as a player. But more interestingly is the fact that I think Mecha is on its way back as a big deal in gaming. Uh, I think Pacific Rim is going to have a huge impact on that. And I just think that the time is right. I think the feel for the Mecha is be back, man. Um, okay, the, uh, the all, all the new post-San Diego Comic-Con comics are starting to just flow into drive through Comics. So check out the site. Well, again, link below. All the links below. And uh, you know, if you're not into drive through comics, you should be, because it's a really inexpensive way to get lots of awesome comics. Let's see. And then there's this really cool fiction piece, uh, this book. It's a collection of short stories called The New Hero, and there's some amazing writers involved in this one. Monty Cook, Ed Greenwood, Monta Monica Valentinelli. God, I hope I said that right, hon. 
Uh, Chuck Wendick, Ken Height, Richard Dansky, old dear friend of mine. I haven't seen him in forever, but I was really glad to see his name on that. And just a lot of other great people, including some really neat up-and-comers as well. So check it. And then finally, at the beginning of the week, I talked about the Savage World Sci-Fi Weapons Cards, which is a departure for the Dramascape guys away from the, uh, the battle map stuff. This is a graphically enhanced game material for Savage Worlds. It's science fiction weapons and, and cool crap, but it's, it's, it's got all the neat stuff, the stats and everything on it. And there's the cool cards. They're very graphic. Uh, Stephen Black, uh, Aaron Huss, and uh, Simon Powell put those together, and they're really hot. Let's take a look at them. All right, so that's a big roundup of all the stuff I'm up in this week. Uh, I'm also doing some gaming this weekend. On Sunday, Lee is running Princes and Pirates. I'm so excited. I get to play Vash. My Corindian. So I'm excited about that. Because I'm working my butt off, people. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. www.savage... No. Sorry. www.shintar.com Don't get all crazy about it yet. Go ahead and keep an eye on it, because that's the big thing that's coming, and we're putting stuff on it, and bleh. So, just to let you guys know, and go and start putting it in your bookmarks and stuff, because there's a lot of work being done on it right now, and that's where stuff is going. Uh, okay, uh, everybody have a great weekend. That's pretty much it. Keep the dice rolling, and I will have another one for you guys, either Sunday night or Monday. Bye!